What's up YouTube? I want to go over some things that I've been playing around with over these past couple of weeks as I haven't released a video in a little bit. It's been about a week, um, Thanksgiving, and I got a little bit sick. So without further ado, I do want to show some things. So the first one is going to be Style TTS 2. Um, it's going to be next, the Stable Diffusion video. I think this one is pretty cool. And then some things that I've been working on for the Tortoise TTS repository for getting Hi-Fi GAN into it. So the first one I want to go over is Style TTS 2. Style TTS 2 is a newer text-to-speech engine, and it's pretty good. So let's go ahead and give it a quick sample. I'm going to go ahead and just copy out this sentence, place it here and then use one of these um, voices on their Hugging Face page. So here we can go ahead and synthesize. And the cool thing about TTS or Style TTS 2 is it's super quick. It's way faster than Tortoise and its um, generation speed and quality is pretty high up there. So let's go ahead and give this one a quick listen. Is there a long queue on this space? Duplicate it and add a more powerful GPU to skip the wait. And so honestly, that isn't too bad for near instantaneous voice um, replication or text-to-speech. Now, there is a voice cloning option as well that I'm going to show. And I've already uploaded a sample of uh, Melina from Elden Ring. Let's take a quick listen. For which I live. Burned. It's a very short sample. And here I'm going to resynthesize the text and it's nearly instantaneous, which is awesome. And then let's go ahead and take a listen. Today, we are releasing Stable Video Diffusion, our first foundation model for generative video based on the image model, Stable Diffusion. And that is pretty good. It catches the prosody, it changes the model to kind of speak in that tone. And this is only from a three second audio clip. And these models can be fine-tuned and trained, which is a little bit more complicated than uh, what you can do here. This is kind of just a demo page, and that is currently what I'm working on, um, getting training working and then some fine-tuning to see how much better we could get uh, these models. So this is going to be a very interesting development, and they have an entire page that goes over um, their samples compared to other ones like Jets, Vits, and then their original style TTS. And then they have an entire GitHub repository that goes over, um, you know, how you might go about training it and getting it run lo locally. So I wouldn't say this is very user friendly. You do have to, um, you do have to know a little bit of coding for this and be able to do a little bit of tinkering. So this, I wouldn't say is very user friendly at the current moment, but I am currently figuring out how to do that. So style TTS2, I think is going to be pretty cool, pretty excited for it. And um, the speed and quality at which it can output TTS is pretty fantastic for something to be ran locally. All right, the next one I want to talk about is Stable Video Diffusion. So I wouldn't say this is particularly new. It's been out for about two weeks now, but um, I've been playing around with it over the past, uh, oh, actually only about a, a week and a half, but I've been playing around with it since then. And this one also has a little bit of uh, steps on getting it set up that aren't as user friendly and Originally, there were some issues, but now there are some YouTube videos out there that go over how to get stable video diffusion installed. So you can run a Python script um, that they provide to get some video outputs kind of like these, or you can actually install it into Comfy UI, which is what I have here. So um, if we take a look at the image, this is the initial image that I uploaded for the stable diffusion uh, video workflow and if we go ahead and now scroll over to the right side here we have a little bit of an animation so as you can see the cohesiveness of the animation is actually really good for um, this model and it's way better than anything that I've really seen out there that you can run locally so I know I think it's the competitors are something like Runway and then I think Pixie. I forget exactly what the name of it, but the quality that this outputs is pretty fantastic. And on their Discord, which you can find here, um, there are a bunch of videos and a bunch of different um, examples where you can see it in action. Let's take a look at this car one which is pretty fantastic. You can see it's panning out and the waves are splashing against the car and just so many cool samples out there. 
And so this one I've been working around and playing around with a little bit, just trying to understand a little bit of what these parameters do. Uh, this motion bucket ID kind of changes how much motion there is in there. And then you can play around with the FPS and video frames. Initially, it was said, said that you needed a 24 gigabyte VRAM card for this to run. However, I have seen people reporting that they've been able to get it running on an 8 gigabyte VRAM NVIDIA card, which is pretty awesome to see. So we will only see this continue to develop, maybe some fine tuning in the future and all of that cool stuff beginning to unfold. But this, I'll probably come out with a tutorial video on how to get this all set up. I'll just be sharing some of the things that I figured out along the way and all of that. So I just did another prompt and let's go ahead and just see what this generates. And so this is now the second generation. So this one is a little bit less coherent. The uh, lady here kind of just disappears into nothing. And this is an example of some generations that you might get with this stable video diffusion. So overall, pretty cool. I think this is going to be very neat. And the future for video generation is going to be um, an interesting one to see. Currently, this is only image to video though. So not text to video, but image to video. So I start with an image first and it outputs this. And lastly, the last thing that I wanted to update you guys on is Hi-Fi GAN is now inside of um, the Git Ecker GUI for Tortoise TTS. Um, I went ahead and implemented it here. So you can see use Hi-Fi GAN instead of Diffusion. Um, and then I made a pull request over on in the Git Ecker page where there's the pull request page. And so I've done a pull request and it just needs to be reviewed and confirmed. Looks like somebody left a message here where it says uh, they're redundant. So this one just needs to be pulled and merged into the main repository to get it up and running. I did test it on a clean install on my computer um, to make sure that it is working. So we'll hope to see that this gets merged. If not, I will probably have to come out with a little bit of a tutorial on how you could get it with my forked version of this repository. Um, but quickly, let's go ahead and take a look at what this actually means. So if I go ahead and generate this sentence right here, um, I'm running a 4090. It's going to take 2.3 seconds to get this up and running for 11 seconds of audio. So this is my Melina voice and let's go ahead and take a listen to it. He felt the hard floor against his cheek and realized that he had collapsed onto his face. His strength was completely gone and he had already lost sensation in his fingers. And so that was generated in two seconds of audio with, or two seconds with Hi-Fi GAN. So what I'm gonna do now is just unselect both Deep Speed and Hi-Fi GAN. So I'm gonna select these, and then I'm gonna reload the Tortoise TTS. So I have that here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rerun Tortoise TTS. And so this one is going to load it with just, um, just normal Tortoise. So no speed enhancements on it. Uh, let's go ahead and refresh this page here. Let's go ahead and get one generation going. Um, oops, I got to recompute latents. So that's one thing is I didn't automate this for changing between Hi-Fi GAN and the regular one. You have to recompute the latents. So let's go ahead and regenerate. And sometimes with uh, Tortoise, the first generation takes a little bit longer um, as it's got to load the models in. And then the second will be quicker. So let's go ahead and regenerate for a second time. And so this sentence for Hi-Fi GAN with deep speed enabled took two seconds. And without, it takes about eight seconds. And let's go ahead and take a listen to it. He felt the hard floor against his cheek and realized that he had collapsed onto his face. His strength was completely gone and he had already lost sensation in his finger. All right, so there you go. There you have it. No speed boosts on that. Um, and that is using the Hi-Fi GAN model instead of the Diffusion. And then, you know, you can use Deep Speed. That one I already have a video on, so you can go check that out if you're interested in running it with Deep Speed. But Hi-Fi GAN is in here. Um, this one took me quite a bit of time to, to get implemented into the code base. So we'll just have to wait until it's pull requested and accepted. And that'll be, um, you know, I think a good addition to the uh, Tortoise TTS GUI. And then lastly, I do want to still do a video on my Quest 3. So that video is going to be coming out about my review of it over the past month and a half. 
I think it's been fantastic. The Quest 3 is a great addition to um, you know my workflow and I think it's pretty neat and all of the other cool stuff on it that allows me to do some coding, I can do leisure time in there and whatnot. But today's video was just kind of a summarization, um, just kind of catching up on what I've been doing over the past couple of weeks as I haven't released a YouTube video in about a week. So that's going to be it for today's video and I will um, see you all later in future ones. So.